Have you wondered why your delivery time is actually delayed, especially for a Model Y from Germany, a Model Y long range or Model Y performance? We will talk about that today. I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. So just to clarify what happened in the past two weeks, I received many, many messages and feedback from German customers, but as well from you um, waiting for your Model Y long range. And everybody asks, why is my delivery time moving backwards and into October, November, December. And we have now apparently found the reason. And I would have never thought that Tesla would have actually done that. And it looks like Tesla has preferred the big customers, the big rental companies. So they delivered many, many cars to them in the past few days before the quarter is ending. Now, you might say this cannot be the case. I tell you it is the case because we had many informations before that could have indicated that. First of all, there was no VIN allocation to German customers for over a week and that by the end of the quarter, that is very weird. And VIN allocations are not happening publicly if you are sending those cars to German rental companies or other companies outside of Germany. So this is a move that I would have never thought Tesla would do but they have done it so I do think that your delivery time should move back forward and you should be part of Q4. Again let me know what you think about that because it is something that we would have never thought Tesla would do. Again for Giga Berlin and Q4 I have received numbers that I'm not able to share yet with you but make me confident that everybody, a part of the UK, because I have no proof yet if UK will be delivered from Grünheide in Q4, um, a part of the UK, this is going to be a crazy quarter. And they are having internal goals that are just astonishing for this last quarter in Giga Berlin. So let's see if they can achieve that. Then looking into the order backlog, there are good news for Tesla Model 3 owners or future owners to be exact. Because two days ago, something happened that didn't happen for months. And that was that delivery times for Model 3 owners moved from 2023 in Q1 towards December. And yes, we do know that is not always the proof, but um, there was a tendency and lots of people, I'm talking about 20, 30, 40 people have messaged me that their date moved into December. So that is good news. And if we look into um, the European Union and Asian Pacific, we see the backlog has decreased. It is at 47,000 cars. And we do know that this was up at 120,000 cars. Um, one quarter ago, of course, the backlog increased because of the lockdown and then as well the restructuring and upgrade. But now we can see that finally the backlog is decreasing. And with that, you have the ability to receive your car faster if you order right now. So again, um, a lot of good news here, especially for people waiting for their Tesla. And in case you do need anything for your Tesla, just check out tessie-supply.com. I'm working for that place. We have so much good products for your Tesla. Then looking into the European market, we have a Tesla here, um, which is actually having close to half a million cars that they have sold since they exported to Europe. Again, this is since 2017. Um, and this really shows where the curve is going. And recently, the deliveries for VW actually um, got a bit slower. So um, the difference between Tesla and VW is slowly increasing again. So I'm very, very excited to see how 2023 will be, especially with the internal goals which Tesla would like to achieve in 2023. Again, I cannot show you them, but I can tell you it is more than you expect. Tesla is just going crazy in Giga Berlin. When it comes to about being crazy, we all know that Tesla is also, or Elon Musk, working on a boring company and as well doing tunnels and on the right side here, um, it seems like we have the boring company where they assembly the uh, machine. And then the second one in the middle, that is where we have seen first footages that there could be an entrance to a boring tunnel. 
and on the left side you have the city of Austin. So in a few years we could see a boring tunnel between the factory and the city center and maybe another one towards the airport. So that will be very interesting what Tesla is going to work on here in the next few years. It's very exciting. Something we might not see in Giga Berlin to be honest with you um, because um, this would be too much. <laughs> For German people, I'm just laughing here on air. Um, so this, I don't think that is going to happen. Um, then we are looking into Fremont. And especially if you're from Europe, um, a little update. We are expecting around 20,000 Model S and X in Q3. Um, again, this is an estimation and could be a record quarter. And that is a good sign for all people abroad who are waiting to get in Q4 or beginning of Q1 then the Model S and Model X. That is actually very good news. As more Teslas Tesla can produce in this area, the more likely it is that Tesla is actually going to export cars. Well, then we have noticed in Germany um, a new package for your Tesla Model 3. You can spend 6,000 euros to receive a lot of um, a lot of products um, that are in evolving to make pretty much your standard and long range version of a Model 3 look like a performance one. So you can pretty much upgrade your version if you like and you can buy that on the website. Um, today in the morning when I did this video to be honest with you um, it was only being seen in Germany. Maybe you can test that in the United States or in other countries if you can actually see that on the Tesla website. So I'm glad to have you here again and also I'm very glad um, to um, have all your support in recent weeks. I just want to um, clarify and give you this note again. So thank you very much for um, supporting my channel. Now the last news is that we are actually looking into AI Day and the AI Day is actually going to happen today. There is lots of information we can work with um, but I'm recently just being a bit more cautious. I'm actually currently um, just waiting what is going to happen um, because we all know that expectations can rise crazily into an area where um, the expectations are going to be um, at the end um, disappointed because we have expected too much. So I really hope um, there's going to be something exciting, but I'm just waiting for it making no special videos about that. Um, and we will see latest on Saturday morning for European um, time um, what is going to happen. So thank you very much again for being here today. Um, appreciate your support. Um, if you have been new to my channel, do consider subscribing. You can also check out tessysupply.com if you need anything for your Tesla. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.